So uh, over the past few months, I've been contemplating on getting a new set of Max tracks for the uh, the F250. The extremes. So these are the ones with the, uh, the steel or aluminium teeth um, embedded into them, and they screw in from the backside. Basically, today I want to try and get these Max tracks mounted to the canopy. Um, that's kind of where I want to put them. It's the easiest spot um, to get them on and off. I don't want to be climbing up onto the roof and things like that to, uh, to get them down. So I want them easily accessible right there, drop them straight in front of the tires, nice and easy to get to. Um, I'm not climbing up onto the roof to mount them and stuff like that. So today I'm going to try and build up the encouragement to finally drill through the side of my canopy and, and uh, nut zert these brackets onto the canopy doors and yeah I've just had to kind of figure out how to get it to seal properly make sure no water is going to get in there and I'm pretty sure I've got it I've got it dialed now to where there, there won't be any issues with the canopy or with these um these max tracks so I've had I had a set of treads in the past but I never I never used them I didn't use them once actually um I never needed to, I never found myself in like that sort of bad conditions where the sand was just that soft that no matter what you did, the tyre pressure didn't work or um, mud and stuff like that. Always just adjusted my tyre pressures before I would go and grab the, the tracks out because that's just another thing you got to clean when you get home and then... So, this is the first set of uh, Max tracks that I've owned. Um, and I'm actually keen just to give them a test out, try and get the F truck bogged on the beach in the next couple of weeks when I get it back home. Um, so it's getting another, another few mods done right now to it. So the last bit of the tea. So this is where I've got the Max tracks mounted on the side of the canopy. Um, I've bought a couple of brackets and they're from a company called Off-Road Animal. Um, I bought them on eBay. so. I'll show you the brackets in a second. I've just got this all kind of hanging there so I can mark it out exactly where I've got to drill these holes and stuff because it's kind of, there's too many factors between the pin centers, the bracket centers, to try and get all that right. I was better off just to mount them all together, hang it there, and then go through and mark the holes. I'll just show you the brackets now. So that's the, uh, the off-road animal bracket. So you've got plenty of different sections there to mount it so you can move it sideways forward back wherever you kind of mount your holes i think they're more so meant for uh, like roof racks and stuff like that but then you can double up and you can actually set these are the yeah, they they take the max tracks pins straight away so and then to not the max tracks extreme pins have an x if you can if that'll focus they have an x on the side of them so you know that for the extremes um but yeah, so you could have these on your roof rack if you wanted to, and it's kind of good to have a little bit of elevation there. Um, just so you're not caking everything in mud and all the rest of it. So I'll go ahead now, I'll take these apart, and then I'll show you how I've got the brackets set up to fit up there. I've got the marks there on the canopy, and we're going to start, start drilling holes. So I've centered the max tracks in the middle of the canopy, and I've just got this Q-tip here with some uh, white marking paint just to mark where the brackets have to go the best I can and then just centered them in the middle of the canopy just marked both sides so now I can take the max tracks off the canopy and uh, yeah I've measured through the sides here I think it was 450 either sides of the brackets and uh, centered in the top of the canopy door. So take these off now and start drilling holes. So the marking out's a bit sketchy, but it's really the only way I can think of doing it. So I've just marked each corner. And because these are slotted, it shouldn't really be an issue. I should be able to uh, either move them like sideways, up or down to wherever. So I'm just gonna mark the centers now so I can get the tracks so it should be roughly about 
there I'd say. So I'll get this kind of marked out. It's just kind of a bit tedious. So I'll get all this done and then I'll come back to you when I start drilling holes in the uh, in the canopy door. Righto. Um, this is probably the scariest part. I'm going to have to drill into the canopy now. So I've marked, center punched my holes where my brackets have to go. Um, I haven't done this side over here yet, but go ahead now and I'll get these kind of little pilot hole. So just disregard my messy workshop, but I've got nuts out tool here. I bought a bunch of stainless M8 by 25 mil long, which I think I may have got too long. I might have to cut them down. Um, and I bought a box of stainless nut zerts. That's one there. So they just screw onto the end of the tool, go in, and then get pressed back out. So this is uh, probably the most nerve wracking part. What I'm going to do is on the back side of these, because they're obviously hollow, so they're going to allow water into the canopy. Um, I'm going to cut the bolts once I work out how far these actually come through. I'll measure this back side, and then I'll cut that down to probably, I don't know, a few mil on the inside of the nut zert, however much it gets crushed. And then that way, I can then fill the back side of these with a sticker flex, um, yeah, like a sticker flex or a silicon to seal them up. And I'll also put a washer, a rubber washer on the inside of the uh, the bolt there. And that should seal it up. There should be no other way that the water can actually get in then. Oh, so I've just drilled a two and a half mil pilot into the canopy door and now I'm going to step up to next size up and then start putting these nut certs in and then we can crush them into the canopy door and then I've got four in there now but I may add more later need be but that should be strong enough to hold those max tracks but there is four other slots I can put more in if need be. So some of the tools I'm using today um, I've got the the Alpha Tough Box drill set, there's a gold series. Um, so it's good for steel, wood, plastic, stainless steel. So check out the, uh, the Alpha drill range. Those legends sent me this stuff. Um, just odds, bits and pieces and tools and stuff uh, to use on the channel. So yeah, definitely check out, check out the Alpha range of drill bits. Um, really good, sharp drill bits, so. And this will fit straight in perfectly. Can nuts at that bracket in now. So they're nice and tight in there. They should squash in there nicely. So I'll go ahead now and I'll put the rest of the nuts in. Um, we'll get this first bracket mounted, lined up, and then we'll move on to doing all the rest. Rightio, so that's the first bracket now on there. As you can see, there's a, a nice amount of movement there if I need to, a little bit up and down, side to side, so I can, if, if my marks weren't quite on center, I can just shift them slightly. Um, but pretty sure they should be pretty good now. Um, but yeah, the only way that water can now get in this is through the back side of the nuts, which I don't think it will because it's crushed pretty tight. Um, but I will just put some silicon on the back side of all these and should have no issues then. Just gonna do a test fit. Just here. Like that. So that's the, the desert tan and then We've got the, uh, I think it's olive green or khaki green or whatever it's called. That one on there like so. And then we just lock those pins around. They're uh, nice and accessible now, so you can just undo your pins. 
I'm not climbing on the roof, trying to undo them. I can just pull the track off, and because the wheel's going to be right here, then throw it straight down on the ground, straight under underneath the wheel. So, but it's good. There's a little bit of adjustment there in the back of the brackets, so I can move them. I'm going to just move this bracket over just slightly for this pin to line up properly. But uh, no, I'm pretty happy with that. So go ahead now and I'll do the other side. And I know, so I've got the driver side all hooked up now, ready to go. And uh, the door opens. So now, normally, this would be the side of the tray when the truck's underneath it. So I just turn, turn my pins here to access the track. Pull the track off. Drop it on the ground. I'll pull this one off as well, carry it to the front, put it under the front wheel, and yeah, I'm not climbing up onto my roof rack and all the rest of it. It's really quick and easy to just pop them straight on here at ground ground level, and I think that's probably the best spot for them. Um, I don't know if the Mitz canopy doors rated to take these things. That's probably something you'd have to ask those guys. Um, but I just put them on here anyway. If it, if the door fails, that's kind of my problem. So, uh, but yeah. I rate it. I think um, the door should be fine with the standard max tracks because they don't weigh next to nothing. But these ones being a little bit heavier may have some long-term issues, but we'll just have to see how they go and we'll go from there. So we'll just go for a quick walk around. But that's the uh, passenger side all uh, mounted up now. I've just got to get some more washers for the driver's side. I thought I would have had enough, but I didn't. I didn't have enough to uh, put on the back side there. So, but I think they look pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with the color combo. But there's a little hint about something else that's happening with the F truck. One of those colors is going to be on the F truck. But I'll keep you guessing with that. Right, uh, let me know what you think about the Max Tracks mounted on the door. I think it looked pretty good. Um, first set that I've ever owned, so I definitely want to get them, uh, get them up the beach and start testing them out. So anyway, that's probably it for today's video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We're nearly at 9,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, I know I've been lacking on the content for the past couple of weeks, but that's about to start escalating. I've got so much stuff going on. So as soon as we get the truck back, I'm going to go up the beach and do some testing and yeah, review some other products and stuff and there's some special announcements coming for the channel. I've got a few new companies on board and yeah, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway, 9,000 subscribers. So stay tuned to the channel for that and I will let you know what you've got to do to enter that and I'll be giving away something good, something of significant value. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Catches.